Hey guys, Gonzo back here uh, with part three of the crab boil. Um, I got Colin the cameraman and I got one of his buddies Jerry over here. What's up my dude? He's going to help me out uh, with, we're going to do it step by step. We're going to rinse the crayfish, we're going to bring it over here. I'm going to show you guys all the seasonings we're going to use, the butter. We're going to boil it on the grill. Um, but uh, first of all, before I get to any of that, um, there's something, uh, there was a comment that was made and um, I answered it the best that I can. A guy brought it to my attention that these aren't crabs, but as I grew up knee high to a grasshopper back in Marinesco, um, when me and my friends went down to the river, we caught crayfish, crabs, crawdads, whatever you want to call them, but I grew up, they were crabs. So we'd go down to the local store, hey, look at our crabs and minnows. And uh, the old timers would be like, oh, you caught crayfish or you caught crawdads. But me and the kids know them as crabs. So uh, plain, you know, it's just uh, Connor plain living. You were right about that. I, you know, I just, it's, you know, like muskrat or mushrat. You know, different people pronounce it different. It just, I, I call them crabs. So you're right. Um, one other thing that I, I want to mention, um, everybody, pay attention to your state's guidebook. This is the Michigan 2012 guidebook. Um, the, in Michigan here, we don't have a season on crabs, we don't have a limit on crabs or a size on crabs, but to transport crabs, which I did not know, and then I checked into it today, it's uh, page six. It says uh, I, that you can't, it's, you can't transport or possess if they're alive, crayfish, um, there's other things like the black carp, silver carp, grass carp, for um, purposes that they'll, another lake, if they get in there, they just, they start to produce and things get real bad. Anyways, uh, so when I checked into it, if you're gonna catch crayfish and you're gonna eat them, the transportation way would be put ice in a bag or a bucket, take your crabs and you put them in there. And the change in, um, they're from warm to cold or cold to colder pretty much puts them in a dormant and kills them but they're still good to eat for two to three to four days so what you want to do is if you don't want to eat them that day bring them home and freeze them or bring them home get your boil ready and cook them so uh, Connor plain, plain living I, I hope I answered your question your comment um, I wasn't I'm, I'm not trying to be a smart ass because you were right and I'm glad that you brought it to my attention. And anybody else out there, uh, help me out, you know, with comments and stuff. Um, we're learning. This is going to be our first experience, our first try doing the boil. And with the kids eating it, we're going to uh, ask them some questions. At the same time, I will, and ask them how they taste it and what they figured and if they'll probably do this again, which I hope they do. I think everything's going to turn out. One of the guys I work with uh, used to live in Louisiana, and he... Um, said the first three years he lived down there he never tried a crayfish and then afterwards uh, he said he tried them and for the next three and a half years that he lived there until he moved back to Michigan he ate crayfish every week and a lot of people put red potatoes corn on the cob you can put any kind of seasonings in there that you want but uh, they're great there's not a lot of meat on them um, here's a funny story for you I take last night you know we put all our crayfish in this styrofoam container I put a lid over the top of it and uh, I get up this morning, I come into the garage, I look on the floor, or I just, when I walked in, it looks like a little uh, crayfish infirmator. I mean, there was crayfish everywhere. So instead of uh, cooking like probably 60, 70 crayfish today, we're probably gonna cook about 35, 40. I'm just like walking around, picking them up. They decided to chew a little hole or pick a little hole apart in my styrofoam and uh, bunch of them got away so what I did is I brought them out back here I threw them in the grass the blackbirds had a feast they, they loved them I, I mean I watched them tear them up and stuff and uh, I had to go around looking underneath benches behind containers uh, underneath stuff and I still found a few more so uh, we don't want to tell my wife this because if that was the case she'd have an exterminator in the garage um, checking and cleaning everything out so. <laughs> But anyways, uh, let's get on with the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna walk over here, we're gonna rinse them. I just put uh, a little while ago, a bunch of ice in the bucket to clean them out one last time. 
Jerry's dancing over here to the side. Um, Jerry Matson, this is. Not Jerry Mathers, the beaver, but Jerry Matson. All right, let's go, Jerry. Buddy, um, here, put it down here a little bit more. Watch your feet. Ooh, here's a big one. Here they go. Okay, we're going to get rid of that and that. And I would say we probably own oh, five or something. That's got to go. I would probably say we got three dozen crayfish, guys. So. <laughs> so we'll clean them off. Ah! That's. Ouch. That hurts. Well, hopefully that's uh, clean enough. Um, I want to explain something real quick, guys. You're not going to see me eating any crayfish, um, any poultry, any fish, or anything at all. When I was uh, six, seven years old, I found out, because I started itching, my throat started swelling shut, that I was allergic to um, lots of different wildlife. And since then, I found out that uh, um, I could eat bear at one time, I can't now. I could eat smelt, I can't now. It just, everything just grew on me as I got older, um, just things started just going wrong with me. I've been rushed to the hospital probably four or five different times, IVs in me, steroid and something else put in me and stuff. It's a really scary feeling to know that your, uh, your throat is um, swelling shut on you, you know. And I, I got a 25, 30 mile ride to the local hospital, so it's, it's not a good feeling. But I can eat venison, uh, I can eat frog legs, we're going to do a video on that one, I don't know how it's going to turn out, you know, we're going to do it from the start, to try and catch them, to bring them home, cleaning them, taking the legs off and everything, and that'll probably be in the next, uh, probably a couple weeks from now when the water gets a little bit warmer, but um, let us know what you think. Follow us over here and uh, we'll get the boil started. Look at J-Bomb. What's up, Jeffrey? All right, come here, bud. You can you can dump the <coughs> crayfish in here. Gary's gonna dump our crayfish in there. Get a shot of them, call. Okay. That's what we got going on right now, people. Um, watch your Jer. I'm gonna. I thought it was boiling. Start this up. Okay, we got this uh we got this going. We'll put her on high. Um, I want to show you what kind of seasonings we're gonna use. We've got a uh, Cajun seasoning with green onions for flavor. We got regular more iodine, iodine salt, uh how do you say that? Another Cajun seasoning, garlic powder for the butter. Cavenders. Everybody loves Cavenders. At least most people. Um, some celery salt. And we're going to put a shot of cayenne pepper in with the crabs. So we're just, we're going to season this lightly. When the crabs come out, we're going to season them a little bit more. And uh, we're going to get our butter going. We're going to melt the butter down and mix that up with um, our garlic powder to dip part of it in so uh, they can suck the juices out of the head and everything and uh, just before we get the crabs uh, before we take the crabs off we'll we'll get a shot of them and we'll get back to you so we'll see you in a minute 
All right, guys. Hey, we're back. Uh, the crabs are just about done. Since I can't have any, I'm gonna have a beer. Uh, moose drool, if anybody's ever heard of it. Missoula, Montana, from the Big Big Sky Brewing Company. Let's get a shot of the crabs. They look nice, nice and orange. Uh, they've been. We're simmering them now. Actually, we're turning them off. They've been going for about seven or eight minutes. Pretty good. We're gonna take these off. Here, Jared, help me out. Take that. No, actually, you can just set that right there. Nope. Keep the simmer. Yep. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna dump this. Jerry, watch out. It's gonna... You can just set her on the ground, Jerry. I don't wanna burn you. It's already ice cold. Get a shot of them. Oh my gosh, those are nice good. and cooked. Boy, do they smell good. What do you guys think? They smell good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything with all the seasonings we put in there. We'll get rid of that. We'll pour them on here. Let them dry off. And by the way, guys, uh, the wife found out about the crabs. Uh, some of them getting away. She made me search the garage again. They're all gone. Oh, yeah, you told it. So, uh, I did yes, actually. I did. The butter is done. Oh, that looks good. Does it? That's what our the boys are going to dip uh, everything in. Let's put that over here. Yeah. That was hot. Um, what else are we going to do now? We're going to season the crabs one more time with a little bit of uh, Cajun seasoning. So. And they're probably cool enough by now that I'm going to take the camera over and we're going to have Jerry and we're going to have Colin the cameraman. Uh, sit down over here in their seats and enjoy some crabs. Grab some paper towels, guys. Hurry up. All right. Right there. Sure, bud. Grab the whole roll. <sighs> Moose drool. Guys, open them up and. So, what are we supposed to do? Just like bust them apart? Bust them in half first. And then t take the tail and peel the meat out of it. Show us a chunk of meat when you guys get the meat and get ready to eat it. You don't have to take all the legs off, but. Yep, throw them in the bucket there, guys. Whatever you don't want. And get ready to eat it and eat it together. Tell us how it, Jerry's got a little napkin on. He doesn't want to get any on his shirt. That's his favorite shirt. The Beaver. Jerry's nickname. After Jerry Mathers. J Bomb! Alright. Let's roll, guys. I don't even know where the meat is. That that white stuff right there, that, that's all the meat. It's good. Jerry tried some. Alright, he says it's good. Colin's trying his first bite. Okay, well he says from what he can taste, I mean it's not like uh, they've got lobsters here, but there's the butter, Xbox. the butter with uh, our seasoning, celery seasoning in it. Um, Colin here, he uh, beat the number one person in the world on Xbox 360. What was the game Colin? MW3. MW3. Anybody interested in playing it with them, uh, get a hold of them. What, what's your name? Native Savior. Spell it. N-A-T-I-V-E space Savior. S-A-V-I-O-R. All right, get a hold of him. He'll accept you and uh, play a game or two with him. Jer? Jerry didn't even suck the crown. You got My us. bad. Uh, dip, dip, dip it in the juice here and uh, 
Suck the crown, man. Did you do a call? Uh, I want to get you guys doing that. Together. Okay, here goes Colin with the head of the crab. Sucking the juice and sucking... Did you hear that? I like that. How was it? It was good? good. Cool, man. Jer, you try it now. Jer already did. You already did it? Yeah. Oh, I missed it. How was it? Good. All right, guys. Uh, are we going to do this again? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. I mean, there's probably only enough for... Not even a full meal for two people. We got 36 crabs. Like those people, Wasn't that know. many, but um, we're gonna roll from there. So I, it sounds like a good oh. sounds like a good time, and uh, the boys are chowing away. So we're gonna let you guys go, and until the next time, um, we'll see you later. Uh, comment, subscribe, uh, let us know what you guys think about the video. Kids look like they're having a good time. Wish I could be eating some too. I'll probably cook myself a nice fat juicy steak on there. Nothing wrong with that. And um, we're going to start a minnow trapping video tomorrow. Just a uh, small two part series. We're going to show you the same traps that we use, what we use for bait, the ride out there, trap placement, and we'll check them the next day and we'll go from there. And there's my beautiful wife. Again, sitting up there all by herself on the deck hiding. Say hello, honey. <laughs> All right, everybody. And there go the boys. Say bye. See you guys. Bye. Bye bye. What's up, dudes? How's it going? All right, guys. Uh, we're back. This is going to be the last part of our video. Um, both guys are probably 10, 12 crabs into the batch. Now, uh, what do you guys think? I don't know. They have their own unique taste. They taste really good. What he said. Oh, I like them. Kinda All right. Like, kind of like shrimp, Sick. but not as much. But they're good. Was this? Were they seasoned good? Perfect. Oh. Okay. They were cooked long enough. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, they're nice and orange. We'll get one more shot of the few that are left. Like I said, they've been. Um, let's put this out here in the sun. They shot of the bucket too. One shot. They're really, I, I don't know if you guys can see this on here, really nice and orange. And I'm going to get a shot of the bucket. I can't do that. And I'll try it like this. How many? I mean, they, they ate quite a few crabs in that bucket and stuff, so things are looking good. Anyways, uh... Until next time, guys, we're going to start a minnow trapping video here. We're gonna, it's just going to be a little two-part series. Um, until then, you guys got anything to say? I like turtles. You like turtles. Okay. Colin? See you on Xbox. All right. Get a hold of them. Native what? Savior. Native Savior. One more time. How do you spell it? N-A-T-I-V-E space S-A-V-I-O-R. All right. Peace out, people. Yep. See you.